the amount of life lost on both sides achieved anything and could have been avoided? Oh, I certainly think it could have been avoided. Uh, certainly, the, the length of a conflict could have been avoided. There, there may have been you know, some inevitability about conflict given, given the conditions that uh, existed from partition up until things erupted in, in late 1960s. Without going into too deep a, a, a history lesson, you know, in the 1960s the IRA was practically non-existent, and 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 what remained of it uh, was wedded to a process of democratization, and w Republicans who had been uh, active in, a, in an arm campaign in the 1950s, to a very large extent, were committing themselves to agitational and uh, other. Uh, activities like that and had had, had disavowed uh, the the armed option and the IRA really only came into the picture in 1970 and I suppose in 1971 in an offensive way. Uh, in my view and I was there the British state in the north collapsed in August 1969 and, and the, the British government rushed in British troops and they provided almost a, a life support unit for the state. Had they brought in the necessary reforms, uh, there would not have been a conflict. If the Irish government had been more empowered to stand up for the rights of citizens in the north, there would not have been a conflict. But none of those two things uh, happened. And I mean, I, 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 this has nothing to do with being Irish. And in my opinion, it's part of the human condition. If you treat people badly, at some point, people won't put up with it. And the, the fact is, to be a Catholic in the north of Ireland was not to be wanted, was to be treated as a second-class citizen, and to be denied what most people would consider as very basic and modest uh, rights. And while all people from that background uh, would not have supported armed actions. Enough did and continued to do so right on to the cessation in 94 to uh, sustain a, a, a very, very lengthy armed campaign from the Republican side. It's also very important to point out that most working class Protestants did not have any great benefit from their uh, status within the state. What, what they had was a, a, a perception of superiority, which, which, which when you scratch it, doesn't really amount to an awful lot. And I mean, I, I worked for a short while in working class uh, Protestant neighborhoods, and there was nothing at all different between my social background and theirs. We, we had exactly the same housing conditions, exactly the same difficulties in terms of access to education, and, and so on. So. Sectarianism it was the glue which held the state together. And the significance of the Good Friday Agreement is that it at least has the potential to dismantle all of that.